I'm at home on the front porch and I trade Forex futures and stock. I don't have to drive to the office every day. I don't have to put up with the boss. I'm right here at my home every day making a living trading stock. And what I want to do today is I want to show you how to do what I do. It's not easy. It takes a while to learn. And I don't know how to tell you what to do or whatever you're doing, but I do know how to tell you what I'm doing. And I've been in and out of the markets since 1979. And I can share some things with you. It's free. You can go to my website. It's Market Trader Tau. And you can read up and uh, watch these videos. They're free. And, uh, and so let's get to it. Oh, by the way, if you invest in the market, you can lose money if you don't know what you're doing. And sometimes you lose money even when you do know what you're doing. So we'll show you how to do it and how to do it right. Hi, I'm Bob Calling. I'm with Market Trader Tau. And I also want to introduce you to my web name, which is Nebo San. Nebo San. It's spelled N-E-B-O-X-I-A-N. You can type that in the D uh, Google, N-E-B-O-X-I-A-N, and you will be able to find my blog site. Yesterday, we were talking about the 200 moving average and the 55 moving average and how they basically establish the, uh, and the 20 moving average and how the 200 will establish your, your long-term trend and your basic equilibrium cycle. Your 50 and your 20 working together will establish the speed of the market. Now, when you get into the smaller time frames, what you're going to have is you're going to have a lot of wiggling. I mean, it's not going to necessarily establish your trends, but what they do is they move around a lot because there are, on the smaller time frames, the duplicate of the bigger time frames. And so, I mean, you, that's how intraday traders trade the uh, smaller time frames is because, you know, the patterns still work out the same. The 200 moving average is 200 hours or 200 minutes or 215 minute periods. And, and so they'll trade those time frames, but they'll use the larger moving averages to establish their equilibrium point. And also, they'll, they'll use the, the weeklies and dailies to keep an idea of where the big waves are. Now, when you start looking at the, uh, the 5 and the 10, what, the, what these do is they're going to show you the, the, the momentum of the market and when it's, it's moving and how it's moving. And also, it's going to show you how to identify uh, a, a, a small correction versus a a, a trend reversal. Let's get up here a little bit closer. Now here's your 200 and here's your 55 right there. Now what happens is when you start using the 10, we're going to use the, this one here. It's a 10. It's a simple moving average. And what it's going to do in this, in this scheme of things right here is it's basically going to follow the uh, The price. But as that price is trending upwards, it's going to stay underneath it. And when this price starts to drop, it will go below. Now, that's the 10. Now, what happens with the, the 5 is that it is going to tell you whether or not to get out or stay in. Now that five is going to hug that real close. And as long as that five doesn't cross underneath that 10, you know you don't have something like this starting to happen. Now, what it'll do is that five 
it'll 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 move along. It'll come up out of here with the tin, and it'll stay in there, and it'll move back in toward the tin and kiss it. It'll move on up here. It'll move back toward the tin, and then it'll go underneath the tin and stay underneath the tin. So what you're looking for is actual crossovers of the five and the ten. And that will give you an idea of when these pull back. So you don't have to panic. You still got, didn't draw in the, the, the 20. And that 20 is going to be moving right along with that 55. Like that. And so what you're going to have is that, that, that 5 is going to keep moving back in toward that 10. And as long as that thing keeps kissing that 10 and jumping off, then you stay in. You don't get out. You stay in. What you're waiting for is that 5 to cross underneath the 10 and the price to cross underneath the 10. And then you can start thinking about getting out. But you're not ready yet. So we're on the very, very tip top of the market here. You really don't want to consider pulling the plug on this price until it comes down to here because a lot of times that price can hit that 20 and bounce right back off of it and start going this way again. Okay? So that's really important. Okay, so we've covered the 200. We've covered the 55, we've covered the 20, we've covered the 5 and the 10. Now these are used all in together. The 200 used alone, the 55 and the 20 are used together to determine the speed of the market. And the 10 and the 5 are used to determine the momentum of the price.